Hello, good morning. I hope that you all had a wonderful day yesterday. We had um, a truly lovely Christmas. We started the morning with a long walk with the boys. We got soaking wet, uh, but it was still very, very enjoyable. And then we had lunch with Sue, Minnie McBeans, and her husband, Mark, and the food was absolutely delicious. When we came home, we put our pyjamas on, lit the wood fire, fell asleep. <laughs> and then when we woke up, Ray um, listened to some music and I stitched and listened to a new book. Um, a lovely way to spend Christmas. Today is Boxing Day in the UK. Um, that's December the 26th, and today is Hands Across the Sea Sampler's anniversary. It's our eighth year, um, our eighth birthday. Um, very, very exciting. Those eight years seem to have gone so quickly. Um, eight years ago today, we released um, Mary Ann Bourne's. This is a big, heavy sampler. Here she is. This was where hats um, started from. Um, and Mary Ann has proved to be timeless. Um, you know, every year we see new finishes of Mary Ann Bournes. Um, delightful sampler. Now, this motif, when we bought the sampler, was very unusual. I'd never seen it before. And I took the sampler to Whitney Antiques and showed her to Joy Jarrett. And Joy had never seen that motif before. But the funny thing is, this year, I have seen two samplers with that motif on. But they are about 30 to 40 years later than this piece. And um, even though I might be a little bit biased, the samplers weren't as wonderful as this one, <laughs> for sure. Um, okay, so our birthday or anniversary release this year is the stunning Mary Chokes. And Mary was reproduced by Lisa Brown and stitched by her. And it really is a wonderful, wonderful reproduction. It's a rich, vibrant sampler. Now, this sampler has a funny little history for hats. Lisa and I saw this sampler come up for sale at auction, and um, we immediately decided that this was one that we wanted to reproduce. So I put a bid in, or so I thought, um, and we waited for the auction and um, after the auction was over, Lisa said, did you get that sampler? So I went on to look and there was no bid registered for me. It had been won by somebody else. Um, and we were very sad about it, but you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Anyway, quite a while later, one week, Lisa and I were talking about this sampler. Um, and um, saying how we wished that, um, you know, we had secured her. And then, unbelievably, the sampler came up for sale on eBay and we bought her. I was not going to miss this sampler the second time around. Anyway, it turns out that this sampler um, is not Scottish, which is what you might expect looking at the sampler. This sampler is English and it's Cornish and it was stitched within a five minute drive from my home. It was meant for us. It really, really was. Um, the colours uh, that we've re reproduced the sampler in are the front colours. The sampler has stayed so vibrant over the years. Um, we found out an awful lot about Mary and her story is in the booklet. Um, it, it's actually quite surprising how much we did find out about her. Now, um, this sampler is a vanity sampler. The 
uh, year in which um, the sampler was stitched had been unpicked. Now, women often did this when they wanted to hide their age. Um, you know, for a variety of reasons, it might have been somebody who married a man much younger than her. It might have been um, a widow looking uh, to attract a second husband. Um, or it might be a spinster looking to attract a husband. And that was the case with Mary. Um, Mary was quite um, an age when um, she married. Um, she was 53 years of age, uh, which is very late, very late indeed. Um, I'm not going to spoil her story because there is a lot of information um, about Mary in the book um, and about the area in which she lived. Um, and I've been very excited to announce this sampler because I've met uh, an American needleworker at two workshops. Um, whose family hails from this area and they are the Vivian family of Trelawara. And this sampler uh, was stitched on land owned by the Trelawara estate. Um, so for that lady, this sampler is one uh, from uh, where her ancestors are from. Um, the sampler uses 13 colours and we have um, reproduced her using Soir 103, but in the booklet there is a conversion for Soir d'Arger and DMC. The um, stitch count is 204 stitches by 240 stitches. Um, we used just the ticket from Tabby Cat Linen. If you stitch the sampler, um, on um, 28 count linen, it would be 14.57 inches by 17.14. If you stitch the sampler on 36 count linen, it would be 11.33 by 13.33. Or if you stitched it on 46 count, which the model was stitched on, um, it would be 8.87 inches by 10.43 inches. A gorgeous sampler. And um, for those of you who have the red box, you will recognise this sampler. It was the sampler that we used for the glasses case and the pouch. And I should have had those to show you. Just one moment, I'm going to go and get them. Okay, so this was the glasses case that we did um, using the sampler. We love this band on the sampler and then we did these little pouches again all taken from that sampler. Inside the glasses case there was a microfiber cloth showing the sampler. So pretty. Um, we always try and keep a special sampler to release um, on our anniversary. Um, this um, sampler is available as a printed booklet or as a PDF. Um, the booklets are with our distributors in the US and you know several stores already have this sampler in stock and it's available on our website. Um, okay so we've got lots more here to talk about. Um, thank you to everybody who has purchased the uh, chart or ordered the chart for a stitching time saves nine and um, carolyn of the stitching time is absolutely thrilled with the response to this little sampler um, as i said in my floss tube uh two days ago this is a sampler that every needle worker uh, should have in their home uh, because it says a stitching time saves nine super little sampler be a really nice sampler to stitch in the month of february red is the color of love and february is the month of love because we celebrate valentine's day lovely little sampler so thank you to everybody um okay so 
Today we have the draw for our anniversary or birthday competition. The samplers to be won are Annie Bayliss, God Save the Queen, and Mary Woodward. Here are the two samplers. And um, a few days ago, I published a provisional list of entrants for the giveaway. And um, following that, we had a huge flurry of other people sending in their entries. And we've had a bumper year this year. We have 410 entries. Um, the entries have been recorded in um, alphabetical order going by uh, first name and each entry has been numbered from 1 to 110 and I'm just going to insert um, those pages into the video so you can scroll down and locate your number. Everybody's got their number. Um, I have popped into uh, my phone a random generator. Uh, so I'm just going to put one to 410. So there we have it. Now let me just try and find the generator key. Whoops. The first winner is 132. Let's have a look in the list or on the list and see who is 132. It's Isabella and it was for her entry for Hilda Weiner. So Isabella, congratulations, you have won Annie Bayliss. Okay, so let's do the draw for the second sampler, which is Mary Woodward. So if I press generator again, it's number 357. So 357, let's have a look and see, is Stephanie Matthias. Well done, Stephanie. And um, your entry that qualified for that was Aglena Sheena. I'm not going to pronounce the Greek version of the name. Congratulations, Stephanie. Um, Stephanie is actually very lucky because we always offer a voucher for the person who's completed the most finishes in the year. And that was Stephanie. And Stephanie completed 29 samplers um, in the year. So you win a voucher for £29. Congratulations. I wish that everybody could um, win a sampler, but um, if you haven't been lucky this year, you might be lucky in the next draw on the 26th of December 2024. And I've chosen two samplers as prizes and I decided to go with red samplers. Little red samplers are the ones that are closest to my heart. And um, the samplers I've decided on is Louise, which is this one. And this is a sampler that will be reproduced throughout the year. Um, I bought this sampler for my red wall. Um, I just thought that was a really pretty, pretty sampler. Love the shade of red. On this one so that will be first prize in the next um, giveaway and second prize will be Denise here she is 
I'm really looking forward to stitching this one. And again, this will be um, reproduced in 2024 and will be the second prize in the uh, giveaway to celebrate Hat's ninth birthday next year. So just to recap what the rules of the uh, giveaway is, or the draw, samplers finished between the 26th of December 2023 up to noon UK time on December the 25th, 2024, that finishes during that period, can be entered into the uh, competition. The address you need to send a photograph of your finish to is hats.competitions at gmail.com. And it could be you, so get those needles flying. Um, okay, um, just to recap, Mary Chokes. This is such a beautiful sampler. Do you know what? I didn't talk about the stitches used in this sampler. I'll do that now for you. Let's just have one more look. Gorgeous, gorgeous sampler. It's such a grey day. I don't know how well these colours are showing, but the colours on the sampler are truly beautiful. Um, okay, so the stitches in this sampler. They're lovely stitches actually, ones I enjoy working. Um, it's cross stitch laid over two threads of um, linen predominantly. Um, Algerian eyelets, back stitches and rice stitches. And um, Mary um, did an unusual version of rice stitch in part of the sampler. Here it is. So rice stitch is made up of a cross stitch over four threads and then you lay uh, little corner threads and on a normal rice stitch the, these stitches would be replicated at the bottom but she put the bottom ones over one and um, on the sampler that is this row. And it just sort of gives it a, a really sort of different finish, makes it look sort of frilly. Very, very pretty. I love the verse on this. Catch then, oh catch the transient hour. That is so, so true. Got to make the most out of life. My husband is doing that today. He's playing golf. Uh, he and Mark, that's Sue Minnie McBean's husband, is playing in the golf competition. So I'm a golfing widow once again. So I'm off now to walk the dogs. We thought we'd go for a nice walk. It's actually dry today, um, which is an exception because we've had so much rain. Down on the beach at the moment, there are hundreds and hundreds of people getting ready uh, to have a swim in the sea. Uh, every year uh, people uh, do this sort of, um, comp well not competition, they all, there's a horn sounded and everybody runs into the sea and you've got to go right up to your neck and no wetsuits allowed. It's really freezing out there and that water must be so cold. But people do it every year for charity, which is really, really nice. Um, OK, I'm babbling now. Ray and I are off for uh, two nights at our favourite hotel in Devon. We can't go for more than two nights because we literally cannot eat the food. The food is so lovely at this hotel that we just can't face um, a third evening meal. Um, it's just too much, but we love going there. The dogs love going there. We always have the same room um, and the dogs know where we're going at the moment we enter the driveway and they love it because there's so many beautiful walks uh, there. Um, so fingers crossed for dry weather for us. Okay, um, until Sunday, stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.